This is Coffee Break, Beta 002. Jerry talking about word processors. Today, let's talk about word processing and what you need to do it. Word processing is about you creating a document that you need. That might be a short paper, poem, or even a novel. I'm not going to tell you how or what to write, just some tips to make it easier to get done. There are many tools for doing this. Some come with your computer. Some as free downloads and others must be bought. Because our focus is on students, I will mostly tell you about the free solutions. A full suite of tools is available at openoffice.org. They provide a download to your system, instructions on installing and using the software. You can also use LibreOffice, an alternate version or fork of OpenOffice. You can use some online versions such as Google Drive or Microsoft SkyDrive. They have advantages over the installed programs. First, they're available to virtually any system via your web browser. The data is stored in the cloud where you can get to it from any computer with your login and password. When you start writing that novel, make sure that you start with Save As right away and continue saving every five minutes or so. Nothing is worse than writing for two hours and having the power go out while you're writing, keep it simple. Don't format the document until you're done writing it. This will save you time by not correcting the layout with every big change you make. Now, for saving the final document, when you first save the doc, you will have chosen to use the default file type for the program. Now you must save it out to a format that's able to be read by many programs. I usually recommend RTF, Rich Text Format. This format is readable by all word processor programs and carries along the basic formatting you just put into the document. Some online instructors are asking for the documents to be sent as PDF, Portable Document Format. This is a good no-edit format. The problem is at the end when the instructor wants all your papers in one PDF document. To do this, be sure to keep all the original documents in the native format, yes, that means you will have multiple copies for each one. To get them all into one document, you'll either import each document one at a time or open the new All Document and then copy and paste from the others one at a time, saving the final All Document to a PDF for the emailing. Well, that's the end of this coffee break. So, get back to work.